Hey guys, it's Eric. Today I want to talk about a very important topic to have to do with stoma marking. Stay tuned. Now when I'm talking about stoma marking, I don't mean pulling a hit on your stoma. What I mean is finding the optimal location for your specific stoma based on your body shape. Now this is something that you would normally have a stoma nurse do prior to, prior to surgery. And this could happen a few days before, it could happen the morning of surgery. But the most important thing is that they do it. I know for some of us who may not have access to a stoma nurse or may not be in a hospital that has those kind of resources available, uh, you may not even be given the opportunity to have your site, uh, your site marked. But I really, really encourage you to ask at least and find out if uh, someone's available to do that. One of the important things about getting the right position of that stoma is the fact that it'll help to prevent or lower the chances of uh, post-surgery complications. Now, there have been numerous studies. Uh, I actually went to a conference. Uh, it was the conference that I went to in South Africa to present where uh, there were stoma nurses essentially presenting on this and it, it is so crucial to have your stoma marked that, you know, they insist on it now. A lot of the uh, intrastomal organizations will insist that patients get marked because it really does reduce the chance of complications. Now, if you're having an emergency surgery, this may not be an option for you, unfortunately. Um, and you may not even have the opportunity to ask. But if you do have appointments before your actual surgery date, Bring it up if it's not something that uh, has been discussed. But chances are, if you're working with a good stoma nurse, if you're working with a good hospital, they'll bring this up and they'll mention it as part of your uh, pre-op routine. Now, what does the actual uh, marking consist of? So what happened to me when I went in is uh, I had a stoma nurse that asked me to sit down, asked me to, to lay down and uh, bend in certain ways. And they wanted to see where the folds uh, on my abdomen were. They wanted to see where the muscles on my abdomen were when I'm bending. They wanted to make sure that if they were to put a stoma there, that it wasn't going to be um, squished or, or moved around in a way that would compromise the appliance. So they marked me, I, I believe it was just with like a permanent marker uh, that stayed until my actual uh, surgery time. Now, if you were given a marking site, if you were marked, and uh, you notice that that mark is kind of wearing out. Obviously, as you're showering, that might wear down. Um, mark it again. Mark it exactly in the same spot, okay? Hopefully before it's faded so you can see where it is. Uh, and that way your surgeon will know uh, where the site was marked. Now, I'm going to link a couple of different studies that just illustrate the importance of having your stoma site marked. I'm hoping that, um, you, you know, out of curiosity, you'll read it. If not, I'm hoping that you'll at least be able to present the information to your stoma nurse if they haven't mentioned this already. I think it's really important. This is something that I advocate for, and I'm hoping that stoma nurses around the world are getting patients marked as part of their um, checklist or whatever they have to do to prepare you for surgery. And it is very crucial to do that. So I hope this information came in handy. Uh, if you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.